Mario is not concerned about Peach whatsoever. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, we finally reached the main courtyard indeed. Could have hit this checkpoint in the last part, I suppose, but eh, mm, now we will. <laughs> I guess I should probably peek around the roof, because we've seen right off the bat in the cutscenes and stuff like that that there were indeed purples hanging out around here. I can just get them no problem, like so. And I guess I'll do a whole loop around this area. It's a pretty large loop, but it, it, ooh, yeah, it is a loop that we nonetheless should do. I think those are actual spikes that you can get hurt on, by the way, so I wouldn't touch those. And I think also this is going to lead me to a uh, like secret island dealio thing. Or maybe, maybe not. Just takes me around here. Well, that kind of gives me a... Oh, this is the one you go inside of! <laughs> ah, I see. Found behind bars. Yeah, see, because there's these little openings here, and I was right that you go inside one, but it was not the one that I thought it was. And I guess now that we see all this stuff is uh, pretty empty, we could probably just kind of like... <laughs> yeah, might as well. Let's go flop on over there and go over to the next roofing side. Because, yeah, one of those power line thingies led to another one of those side bonusy type areas for moons and stuff. So, don't want to miss that. <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Well, maybe it's not this one. It's somewhere around here, though, dang it. We know that. It's gotta be here. I think that was actually the place it led to, was up there. Uh, there's purples, that's always nice to see. There's also purples down inside that fountain. Well, not fountain, it's more like a pond. You'll see what I mean by pond when we get over there. So, don't miss stuff underwater once you get to that spot, I'm just saying. It's a pretty tight area, so it's kinda easy to miss stuff. Because the camera and stuff like that. Uh, some purples up here. And let's call it a day. <laughs> Alright, so about. Well, you can take a peek see up ahead, I guess. You know, that's our goal, is to go all the way up there. There's a whole bunch of obstacles along the way, but there's nothing that we can't tackle if we just keep at it. So, down over here is what I was talking about. He's got a koi pond. Got. Oh, no, no, there's three here. I seen that. There's three. There we go. <laughs> You can throw your hat at the fish, they don't mind at all. And on this side, though, there is a mo power moon. Sunken treasure in the moat. So I guess this is it's technically a moat? I don't I don't know if I would call it that, because you've got koi fish. When I think of a moat, I think of like something you would put alligators into or something like that, not koi fish. <laughs> I just want to break this rock to see if there's anything important. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Dang it. Come back here, you monstrosity. Okay. <laughs> Nothing important, but... There's coins. I guess that's all right. <laughs> just I thought maybe there could be something better than just regular coins. Who knows? Anyway, I need one of these to get to the... Oh, actually, I forgot to explore this. There's another side of the moat here. I think you're supposed to ground pound one of these bubbly areas. Yeah, there's that. And there's another bubbly area here. Get some air. Uh, okay. I guess it was just the other side that I had to had to look carefully at. <laughs> and might as well. No, stop that. <laughs> now I need to get a Pokeo. Oh, you can grab onto the blocks? Interesting. Does that mean I could like get up this that is I didn't even know you could do that what you're normally supposed to do is go around this way with Pokio because if you fall into the water with Pokio you know it's the whole idea of that you lose your Pokio but you can completely avoid that altogether by just yeah <laughs> interesting anyway I want to go around here there be a moon oh no no me and my Pokio controlling is just so amateurish, it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's like, the way that I snap reflex is the completely wrong way to snap reflex at things. Well, now that I know this, I suppose I could just like... Oh, no, 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 no! What's it to say? Now that I know this, I could just like, 
use this to speed run up there if I really wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know you could do that. Like, it always seemed like that when you hit a block, you can't attach to it, because, you know, you don't attach to it to begin with. But sure enough, you do if you do it that way. <laughs> okay, so this is a little on the tricky side to get, obviously. Uh, okay, might as well break these. Just, just, just for good measure, hidden corridor under the floor. We are good to go, and around we go. Up here. Normally we would have to take the stairs with Pokio, you know, going up the walls and stuff like that, but no, we're good. We still need a Pokio, though, for uh, those blocks there. I think I want to break those blocks for something. I don't think they're important to break, but I just want to see what's actually in them. Uh, okay, that's all right, I suppose. Look. Just defend myself with the power of the nose! I'm gonna look around the perimeter here to see. Yep, that's what I thought. So there's a dangerous area! Okay. Oh! Oh, I did it again! I was holding a wrong direction when I don't have to hold anything! I need to knock my instincts, or I should say reflexes, out in that regard. <laughs> Oh, gee, oh, pff, I'm taking hits from you. And, oh, no, oh, no, oh, I say, I want to I wanna do the trick again, just for the fun of it. There we go! <laughs> and I guess I could also show you the quote-unquote normal way of getting up there. Is you're supposed to use the wood planks and the walls or the stairs to get up thusly, but... Whoa, that was actually missed on my first shot there. That was a little too close. Not close enough to damage me. <laughs> Alright. We go again. Oh, wait, no, actually, you don't have to go again. We got them all. Never mind, that's right. Yeah, checkpoint. Out of wall. Let's go. Um, where'd you go? <laughs> I thought you were near the, near the stairs. Uh, Stairface Ogre. You can use them to break these things. Uh, break the blocks here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy! You do it! <laughs> what if you tried poking the... I know, I know, we've been through this before, technically. Alright, there's a shiny one here! You can do it! Yeah! <laughs> and the moon appears right over there. Using the power of the Stairface Ogre to get that moon. If you kill him, you know, just leave the area and come back. He'll respawn, no big deal. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. And... At these, take a look around back. It's Captain Toad! Oh no! Oh, no. oh you're scared of me, that's right. <laughs> I was walking along these rooftops for so long, I got lost! I found this moon part, so it's not all bad. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, Captain Toad! And there's a lot of friendly faces at Bowser's Kingdom. Oh, which way was I headed? I don't know. You figure that out, will I go back along the other way and probably get another Pokio? Uh, actually, do I need to get another Pokio for this? I don't... I don't see anything over the edges. Okay. We'll consider that completed. <laughs> I, th I think we're good there, I mean. Uh... I kinda wanna break these blocks too, if you don't mind. I'm behind ya! I'm behind ya! Over here! Yes! Shiny! Breakable! Yes! <laughs> I guess I can do this really quick. There we go. Just kind of take care of things. Uh, yeah, I don't really think there's anything else here, but there is something on the higher up rooftops. So I guess I'll flop on over there when I get there. But for now, we got some fancy moving platforms to get across here. This is a pretty interesting section here. So you got this. Uh huh. You, well, you can just like do this. All day and all night uh, to get around. It's a lot. Whoa! It's a lot riskier than just holding yourself in place. For or at least it's riskier for me because I seem to have terrible reflexes when it comes to Pokio. <laughs> oh no! I want to go up. There we go. Can I get that touch? There we go. Um, I don't remember if there's anything down there, but I'll be able to see when I get to the very tippy top. Uh, okay, hit that. Now I'll look straight down. Okay, it just looks like rooftops. <laughs> ah, okay. If there's a dead end, there might be something there. That's all I had to check. Same with this here. If there's a dead end, 
There could be something. Not this time, though. That's kind of surprising, actually. I only went there kind of, like, so recklessly because I hit the checkpoint. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, this is the true test of my Pokio skills here. Uh, I think I actually want to go inside one of these walls. If I want... Whoa! If I'm, I'm, if I'm correct. I don't remember which one it was, though. Uh... I think I'm going to be hit by the spikes if, I, if I'm that low. Which one was it? I don't remember. But I do know if I touch the wall, I'll automatically like, fall off, yeah. But there's these, that's, that's nice. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not this one that there's something in a wall. Eh, I can live with that. I can go around, no big deal. There we go. Alright, maybe I'm actually getting the hang of Tokyo after all. Miraculous! <laughs> Alright, but there is another rooftop here. And this is where I think I found out that these are actual spikes. Yeah. Oh, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that to demonstrate. I should have popped out a Pokio first, but too late now! Uh, I just want to go around here and take a look around here. Uh, well, there's nine coins. That's okay, I guess. I say that a lot about my coin findings, but... That's really all I can say about them, because they're typically not that much. I know, I know, don't t don't you have to tell me twice there, camera. I'm trying to get myself over the spikies. And I thought there was a rocket over here. Uh, maybe not now, maybe it's a later dealio thing. So, Alright, we're leaving. We're, we're gone. <laughs> it looks like we've done all we can do right now. Maybe. Maybe. Except for hit this checkpoint, I guess. That's, that's pretty nice. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, actually... Oh, I need a Pokio! I just remembered I need a Pokio for this. Behind here. <sighs> There's two holes. For Pokios. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, so we're gonna go... Warp here, is it? Because it's just like three overlapping checkpoints because they're all on a vertical wall. Incorrect! So is the one down low, like in the middle, and like the inner wall? And then maybe? Come on. Okay, yeah, this, this one will do. So yeah, I, I definitely should not have lost my Pokio there, as I thought. Alright, so we're gonna get up there like a pro this time. No hesitations. No amateur movements! Okay, I hesitated, because I could have went to the left like that. <laughs> I just don't want to lose my Pokeo, there we go. Because I think if you take a hit from those spiky things, you'll automatically be pooped down to the bottom, and... Yeah, it's just kind of... kind of a pain. <laughs> uh, I don't know if these are the torches that I had to... Snuff out, but nah, I guess not. Maybe it's the torches up top too? Who knows? Who knows? All I know is I'm gonna kill you guys. I'm gonna try and get my nose in here, which can actually be kind of tricky. Eh. Dang it. Eh. Eh. Okay, I'll try this one. <laughs> it's not much, not in a much better spot, I gotta say. Eh. Oh, I got it! There we go. What about the other one, though? Is it like a health upgrade? I think it's a health upgrade. <laughs> Such a precise shot! <laughs> Wish I could do this in first person mode or something. Okay, there's that, I guess. That's... That, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I guess that's done. There is actually some more stuff that's gonna appear, like, around the perimeter that we'll be able to get later on, but right now it's obviously off limits, so... We're off! Oh, wait, wait! That, that made a chime! Uh, what did I do with that? Was it just because I snuffed them out that you gave me a happy chime? I don't know. All I know is... We're going. Woohoo! Where are we going to, though? I see where we're going to. Those two. You want a battle? I'll give you a battle right on top of your own roof. I've got my samurai armor and everything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, man. 
don't, you're not getting away this time. I'm jumping up on top there to get you. You're too late. We're off to our wedding ceremony on the moon. The moon! What the poop? How am I going to get... Well, I guess I have an odyssey. <laughs> Bring it! Oh. Successful repellent was successful. Oh, man. At least we know where they're going for the wedding. Hmm? Mm hmm? Oh! What the poop? Oh no! Oh! Ooh, they're teaming up! Our rematch was short lived. We're having a third rematch, but this time it's against the Robo Brood! Beware! So, you got some Pokeos there? You got some bombs? Guess what we gotta do? <laughs> But beware, because there's more to it than just that. Believe you me. So once we get the armor off, we'll flip off over to the side. You notice that one gets covered. So that means we don't have access to being able to attack it. Interesting, is it not? Yeah, you see, the thing about this is that since it falls on its side or whatnot, you kind of kind of have to attack them in awkward ways. You could even do stuff like this. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> I tried my best. I have no regrets. But this battle is not over yet, because the attack pattern is going to change. It's got new leg armor. Oop, I missed. Come on, use your billiard skills, PK Gam. You can run an entire table, but just you can't hit balls into the legs of a slowly moving Robo Brood. <laughs> And it goes over on this side this time. Get the idea? See, whichever whichever leg that you attack last is the one that is going to be flipped. Like, it's going to flip the body into a different vulnerable state. Ah, oh, I failed to get on top of it. So sad. So sad. Okay. Now, you notice it's got a couple of upgrades on its uh, tootsies there this time. Well, I should say its legs and tootsies. See those balls on the side there? Yeah, what could that be? Anyway, well, we're about to find out because we're in phase two. Once you break out or say KO two of the brutals, we end up in phase two, and now things are gonna things are gonna heat up a little bit here with some sparklers. <laughs> they do hurt you though, so don't get don't get too overconfident about having some sparklers following you around very slowly. They can be dangerous. <laughs> All right. Fall over again, and now this time it's kneeling. Why is it kneeling? Well, it's so that you can start attacking the other brutals conveniently. Like, yeah! <laughs> there's one on top, but there's one on the back. The big bad leader topper. Oh boy! We have increased the sparklers. Okay, maybe we didn't increase them that much, but eh, eh. We just need to get away from them. We'll be okay. Come on, baby. We can do this! One more to take care of! Oops. I just got right in between the legs of all the places to go. <laughs> oh well, we gotta wait another cycle. Wait, wait, actually maybe, well it did hit one leg, but what happened to the second one? Did that explode against the other one or something? Hmm. I don't know, all I know is I've gotta get on, whoops! I've gotta get on to the, uh, oops, and then I gotta get Onto the back now, because it flips on that side. No, no, no! Oh, shoot! Uh, this is timed! I only have so so long to do this. Oh, shooty, shooty, poopy. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, don't, 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 not yet! No, 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 no! Oh! That was my own fault. I know, I know. Wait, wait. Is there hope? No, I was going to say, is there hope for me? Flopping back on there and doing some fancy moves? Nah, I guess not. Its legs don't fully repair, though, I see. That's kind of interesting. I didn't notice that before. So I guess if you miss the the damage cycle, you kind of get a little quicker shot at it or something. Oh, dang it, dang it, and you're bouncing. Oh, dang it! Oh, I, I think what I did before was I hit I hit a bomb into a Pokeo. That must have been what happened. I didn't see it. Yeah, okay. All right, sparklers. 
You don't stand a chance against my swift feet. Yeah, isn't it interesting that they're actually battling using a Pokeo? Of all things. <laughs> against the Brutals. I thought that was a pretty nice little touch there. Because it's, it's a little something different for a boss battle. And come on, we can do this. Max damage, yeah! <laughs> Victory is mine! The fireworks fly! <laughs> now are they dead? I don't... Man, it's just, we've done so many things to them. You'd think that they would be dead by now, and I don't know. <laughs> it seemed pretty dang durable. <laughs> All I know is, though, I got this triple slash multi moon, and I know what to do with it. I put it in the Odyssey, you know. <laughs> Woo! I wonder if there's all sorts of stuff that's been unlocked now. I don't know. Might be. Who knows? It could be. But I, there is a cutscene coming up. We were one step away, and Bowser Bowser flew off to the moon. <sighs> we could chase after him in the Odyssey, Odyssey. Just throw me on that globe, globe. Can we? Can we? It only needs eight more. Of course we can! <laughs> so this has pooped us actually all the way over back at the beginning. Yeah, we've, we've traversed all of this stuff. Interesting, is it not? <laughs> With all those power lines? We, tra we travel a lot of ground in a very short time. But... I think I'm going to chase Bowser in the next part, because clearly, clearly Mario is not too concerned about Princess Peach after all, so with that, I'm ending off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go chase Bowser and Peach, I suppose? It's kind of like the typical plotline of a Mario game, if you think about it. 